Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 50 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Alright, we are on to tricking the trickster now. And we're not that far from the end. Like, literally just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, 5 if you're not counting the DLC. So let's get started, shall we? Not looking forward to facing Crow again after what happened last time we dueled against him. But maybe Broder has a better deck to use. I remember the first guy, Dragon, had Thor. And I think this guy has Loki for the uh, Aesir cards. I do like that I have Breaker, though. Breaker is pretty good. Yeah, Loki, Lord of the Aesir. I need one Nordic Alpha Tuner, plus two or more non-tuner monsters. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a spell trap card during your battle phase, you can negate the activation if you do, destroy it. This is a quick effect. During the end phase, if this phase-up card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card, by battle or card effect and sent to your graveyard this turn, you can banish one Nordic Alpha Tuner monster from your graveyard, special summon this card. When summoned this way, you can target one trap card in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. So this is a pretty awesome card right here. Mara of the Nordic Alphar is one such tuner that I need. I don't think this is considered a Nordic Alphar. For a synchro summon, you can substitute this card for any one Nordic tuner monster. That's pretty helpful. So I guess I can include a Nordic Alphar. This card is used as a synchro material. All other synchro monsters must be Nordic monsters. Once per turn, you can send one Nordic monster from your deck to the graveyard. This card's level becomes the level of that monster until the end of this turn. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. What is Nordic Relic Le Le Leviathan? Le Leviathan? I don't know what that says. I thought it was Leviathan, but it's not. Target one phase out monster on the field that destroyed a monster by battle this turn. Destroy it. Cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this card's activation. So I can probably use this if Crow was able to defeat one of my monsters. I have a feeling I should probably set this. And maybe this as well. Blackwing and Strafe. It just goes straight to the graveyard. Wow. So my trap was useless. And he's got two face downs as well. Well, this sucks. Well, this is only 1,100 attack. So I have a feeling I can just beat it with Breaker. Icarus attack? Oh, you're gonna throw my trap too. Well, none of us got ahead at all. Well, I guess this guy did, because Black Whirlwind is still on the field. Oh, now he's got two of them! So he can just add another one to his hand. Actually, he can add two. As long as they're lower attack power than this. Well, this is not going well at all. The Golden Apples. When you take battle damage while you control no monsters, gain life points equal to the battle damage you took. And if you do, special summon one malice token. Its attack and defense are equal to the amount of life points you gain by this effect. Okay, so if a direct attack hits me really hard, this is the best time to use it. So I think it's a good time to use Breaker again. Hmm. 
Hmm. Should I consider just using this effect to get rid of Black Whirlwind? Or should I get rid of that face down? Let me get rid of the face down and see what it... Oh. I think I chose poorly right there. Because I still could have been able to apply that effect. Now he's just stacking cards in his hand. Black Wing Dragon. Well, if there was a time to use it, it's now. There, now it has the same attack points as that. Okay, right now that's level one. Do a breaker back. What's this? Soul Self of the Nordic Alpha. When this card is normal summon, you can target one phase out monster you control, except this card. Special summon one Nordic monster from your hand with a level less than or equal to. Oh, well, that's no good. That's only level one. Um, in case that's another compulsory evacuation device, let's just destroy this. I think these two should kamikaze. If you would take damage from a card effect, place one black feather. Okay, well, that's not gonna matter. There's no feather counters on this. There we go. That was not a compulsory evacuation device. On the plus side, he can only add one monster. Oh, for God's sake. He had another one. Well, he had to target two cards. Even one of his own. Well, at least this is a level four. This is level four. I can't synchro summon just yet unless I had... No, I can't use these three. Because two of these are tuners. Let me just start hitting them. See how far that gets me. He's only adding very weak cards to his hand anyway. So Black Whirlwind becomes a little less useful. Defender of the Magical Knight. This card is normal summon. Place one spell counter on it. Once per turn, if a spell caster type monster on the field will be destroyed, you can remove one spell counter from your side of the field for each of those monsters instead. And that's a spell caster. Well, that one's a spell caster too. I have two of these out. No, wait, this also... I need two Nordic Alphars. Do I? No, I only just need one Nordic Alphar tuner. So I think I can just use either of these. And then this. And that. There you go. Let's use Defender. Eighteen hundred? Well, that sucks. Now I can't destroy it. I thought sixteen hundred would do it for me. Sirocco. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Blackwing Armor Master.
Wait, let's look at the field. Target one face up monster on the field that destroyed a monster by battle this turn. Let's look at this effect. Cannot be destroyed by battle, and you take no battle damage from attacks involving this card. If a spellcaster type monster will be destroyed, you can remove one spell counter from your field. I might lose this. Wait, man, I don't want to lose this. Because then I won't be able to do what I need to do. So I'll use Defender's Effect. That way that monster does not get destroyed. Ooh, Mirror Force is nice too. If this card attack a monster and place one wedge counter on that monster, maximum of one. You remove all wedge counters from your opponent's monsters. The attack and defense of those monsters at wedge counters comes zero until the end of this turn. I'm really glad I got Mirror Force now. When using this card's Synchro Material, the other two Synchro Materials must be two Nordic monsters in your hand. Oh, wait a minute. I could have just, like, Synchro Summon just having this on the field and having two of the cards in my hand instead? Well, I done goofed. I did not read that effect properly. Well, this can get very annoying unless Mirror Force works for me. Why does your turn have to be so long, anyway? Oh, I feel bad for you. Now you have nothing to protect you! Glypnir, the fetters of Fenrir. Add one Nordic monster from your deck to your hand. Synchro Summon, you can substitute this card for any one not Nordic Tuner monster. Oh, that's not Nordic, unfortunately. Let me use this effect. If I make this 5... Does that ch change the levels, too? This is 5. It's not going to add up to 10 at all. So I should probably say change, ah, change it to this. And that didn't do it either. But I may not even need to cuz look, he's only got 5000. Really? Really? He's got that back? He's got two monsters back. Oh my god. Oh no, no, they they, they go back to the graveyard. Oh, thank god. It, it was looking rough. Tier of the Nordic Champions looks pretty awesome. Let me add this to my hand. Oh, that's tier. Okay, he doesn't have much else. Your opponent cannot target Nordic monsters for attacks except Tier of the Nordic Champions. If there's no other face-up Nordic monster on the field, destroy this card. 
Well, that should not be a problem. Still can't do what I need to do, just to bring out Loki. So I probably botched that effect. Oh, it's banished. But I think I have enough damage to win. Do I? Yes, I do, just by 200 points. Oh, thank God. That was a pretty long 15-minute duel. <laughs> but there we go, we beat Crow again. Tricking the Trickster. Oh, I remember this one being a pain in the ass to do. I think it's Haldar I'm now? Fa Haldor. Facing Yusei. His, uh, Odin Synchro Summon Monster had so many ways to get back on the field. That I got lucky when I did the original Let's Play. Okay, Shining Angel will be pretty good. Once per turn at the start of your standby phase, if you control a Nordic monster and this card is in your graveyard, you can send one spell card from your hand to the graveyard, special summon this card. Yeah, Odin is level 10, has 4,000 attack. I need one Nordic Ascendant Tuner, plus two or more non-tuner monsters. Once per turn, you can make this card be unaffected by spell and trap cards until the end of this turn. During the end phase, if this face-up card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card, by battle, or card effect, and sent to your graveyard this turn, you can banish one Nordic Ascendant Tuner monster in your graveyard, special summon this card. When summoned this way, you can draw one card. Yeah, this card's pretty broken. Alright, let's just use a Shining Angel to get something out. Unless he decides not to attack either. Nordic Relic Megingjord. Target one Aesir or Nordic monster you control. Its attack and defense each become double its original attack and defense till the end of this turn. But it cannot attack your opponent directly this turn. Okay, that sounds pretty awesome. Well, this is a Nordic Ascendant, so that's pretty good for me. So if I have this on the field, and then I have this, I should be in good graces. Well, I can't really use this effect, so I don't have a spell in the graveyard. Let's go with Garmir for extra defense. Something tells me he's... yeah. It had to be something you can use for Synchro Summoning right away. Good, you did exactly what I wanted you to do. And this card is Normal Summon. If your opponent controls a monster, you can control no other cards. You can banish two Nordic monsters from your hand. Special Summon 2 and Ein Harriar Tokens. Level 4, yeah, this is really good to have. That just allows you to stack Odin almost instantly. Okay, this is level 4. So if I get a level 2, well that level 2 is a tuner unfortunately. Actually, I got an idea. Let me bring this out. Call the Haunted to get back a Junk Synchron. Oh, he's not wasting any time there. Stardust Dragon. Let's bring in Garmir. It's level 4. I can use this just to stack cards. I'll bring in Vanadis. And I want you to substitute as this. 
4 plus 4 plus 2 equals 10. There you go. Odin's coming to play. Now it's time for you to have some fun. Jeez, you can just use this effect no matter what. During either player's turn, a card or effect is activated that destroy a card, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, it can't negate an attack. That's good to know. Let's see you stack up to this. I do not think you can. During the end phase, this phase of card is destroyed by battle, or destroyed by your opponent's card by battle or card effects into graveyard. Banish one Nordic Ascender Tuner in your graveyard, special summon this card. So I gotta keep my Ascendant Tuner in the graveyard. Let me add this to my hand anyway. This. What could be good for me? Maybe this? kick in right away, will it? Yes, it will. You know what? This can go. I get to bring this back. I can draw another card. It's no good to use this. I can't get a direct attack anyway. Oh, it just got destroyed. All right, because Odin is not a Nordic card. Of course. I misread that effect. I gotta stop doing that. Like, I gotta pay more attention to my cards. Goes the Debris Dragon. What can I bring out with Call of the Haunted that can make my life a little bit easier? I didn't really think I can bring out anything useful. I still have a Nordic Ascendant Tuner in the graveyard to kick in Odin's effect again. All right, let's end the turn. I think I got everything under control. Right now, he's just turtling. Which is exactly what I want. Face on monster you control. Accept this card. Special summon one Nordic monster from your hand with a level less than. Well, this goes well with Odin because he's level 10. So I can special summon just about anything. Let's go with this. Thank you. 
If there is no other face-up Nordic monster on the field, destroy this card. Well, there's definitely a Nordic monster. So let me use Call of the Hunter to bring back Tear. If I make this level 2... Oh my god, I can get a second Odin! So I will do that! Oh, I feel bad for you, Say. I really do. Dealing with two 4,000 attack beat sticks? Lucky I can't direct attack with this. I would have just wiped him right there. If I could. Is that really gonna save you? Is it really? You're just gonna get a junk warrior out. It can't stack up to this. Oh, whoop de doo now you have three monsters on the field. Okay, well, just in case I don't have enough... Oh, jeez, I had enough anyway! You couldn't negate the battle damage! You lose! There we go! Now we got, like... Only five duels left, and we finished five Ds. Which is looking really good. Then we can move on to Zexel after that. So I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next part, we'll move on to the beginning of the end. See everyone. Thanks for watching.